good day students. Welcome to our module number 7. In this video, you will learn how to formulate rules for the subtraction of integers, subtract integers, and solve real life problems involving subtraction of integers. Before proceeding to the lesson, let us test your prior knowledge by answering the pretest. Choose the letter of the correct answer and write your answer in your notebook. You are given 5 seconds to answer each question. Number 1. What is the inverse of the subtrahend and 17 minus negative 13 equals 30? A negative 30. B 0. C 13. D 17. Number 2. What is 20 decreased by negative 20? A negative 40. B 0. C, 20, D, 40. Number 3. What should be subtracted from 75 to get negative 10? A, 0, B, 10, C, 75, D, 85. Number 4. Simplify, negative 75 minus negative 125. A negative 200. B negative 50. C, 50. D, 200. Number 5. Simplify, 60 plus 40, minus negative 21. A, 121. B. 79. C. Negative 79. D. Negative 121. Let's have a recap to check your mastery about the previous lesson. Analyze the rules then solve the unknown values to fill in the spaces in the circle. The outermost circle is the sum. You have 30 seconds to answer the activity. In this self-learning module lesson, we will be exploring how to subtract integers. The step-by-step -step process of subtracting integers is included in this self-learning module. Enough examples and exercises are presented to facilitate learning. Three friends agreed to meet at the mall to buy needed materials for their civic organization. On the way to the mall, they all brought their own cars. Jasmine parked her car at the third floor of the parking area. Ryana arrived second and got her parking at the third basement. If Angelo who arrived last had his parking at the fifth floor, how many floors far away his car to Jasmine? From Ryana? The given in the problem can be represented by the following. Positive 3 as third floor which is Jasmine's car location. Negative 3 as third basement which is Ryana's car location. Positive 5 as fifth floor which is Angelo's car location. The question, how many floors far away Angelo's car to Jasmine's car? In the given problem can be written as, 5 minus 3 equals. While the question, how many floors far away Angelo's car to Ryan's car? In the given problem can be written as, 5 minus negative 3. The problem can be solved using color chips. In this lesson, white chips will represent positive numbers while black chips will represent negative numbers. The answer to 5 minus 3 can be solved using color chips in two ways. The first solution is to represent 5 using 5 white chips. Subtract 3 by removing 3 white chips. Then, 2 white chips remained. The second solution can be expressed in addition. Represent 5 using 5 white chips. 
add negative three chips using three black chips. Three white chips and three black chips add up to zero. They are neutral. Then, two chips remained. Thus, 5 minus 3 e equals 2 and 5 plus negative 3 equals 2. Therefore, Angelo's car parking area is two floors away from Jasmine's car parking area. The answer to 5 minus negative 3 can be solved using color chips in two ways. The first solution is to represent 5 using 5 white chips. Subtract negative 3 by removing 3 black chips. But since there are no 3 black chips to remove, add 3 set of neutral chips. Now, we can subtract negative 3 by removing the 3 black chips and what left are 8 positive chips. The second solution can be expressed in addition as 5 plus 3. Represent 5 using 5 white chips. Add 3 using 3 white chips. A total of 8 white positive chips. Thus, 5 minus negative 3 equals 8 and 5 plus 3 equals 8. Therefore Angelo's car parking area is 8 floors away from Ryan's car parking area. From the given examples, we noticed that subtraction statement can be written as addition statement. Observe the two examples and answer the guide questions on how it was done. What are the many ones in the subtraction statements? What are the subtrahend in the subtraction statements? What happened to the many ones in the corresponding addition statement? What happened to subtraction operation? What happened to the subtrahend? Based on the above illustration, we learn that to subtract integers, keep them in you end, change the operation from subtraction to addition, and change the sign of the subtrahend to its opposite or additive inverse. Then proceed to operation of addition. Or keep change change slash kcc. Example 1, change each of the following subtraction statements into addition statement and give the answer. Example 2, what must be subtracted from 80 to get 120? Example 3, subtract negative 20 from the difference of negative 175 and negative 15. Example 4, the temperature of a COVID-19 patient was recorded 41 degrees Celsius. After an hour of taking the medication, the patient's temperature was 4 degrees Celsius lower. What was the temperature of the patient then? Example 5, the Clinica Medica received their deliveries of 54 boxes of personal protective equipment, PPE. After a week there were only 12 boxes of personal protective equipment left. How many boxes of PPEs were used within the week? To wrap up the lesson, remember that. To subtract integers, keep them in you end, change the subtraction operation to addition, and change the subtrahend to its opposite then proceed to addition of integers. Keep change change slash kcc. To subtract integers, simply add its opposite. The terms difference, minus, subtracted from, subtracted by, decreased by, diminished by, and less than indicate subtraction. For valuing of the lesson, the process in subtracting integers is to change the sign of the subtrahend to its opposite, then proceed to addition of integers. Teenagers nowadays are very exposed to social media, online gaming, barcadas, etc. that lead them to different vices and immoralities. As individual, cite some ways on how to subtract vices and immoralities in our society. Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. For your activities, kindly refer to your module. For activity 1, practice, determine the difference by subtracting the number in the first column from the number in the uppermost part of the second column. Write the difference in the second column. For activity 2, keep practicing, solve the following. Write your answer on the space provided. For activity 3, test yourself, solve each of the following problems. To measure how much you have learned from the entire module, let us answer the post-test. 
Read the questions carefully and choose the letter of the correct answer. You are given 30 seconds to answer the questions. 